Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. Lane 8 is known for his super chill, melodic house music, and he just came out with a new album, and this track is off of his new album. The track is called Just. So I wanted to remake it just to get an idea of what kind of techniques and sounds he uses in this chill style of house music. I'm just going to go through some of the sounds now and show you how I made them. So first up, this pad sound is super cool. So those chords kind of set the whole backdrop for the track and they play throughout the whole thing. So how I did that was in Serum up here, I originally had these chords with the filter all the way open. So it's a really simple sound, it's just a saw wave with seven voices of unison and some detune here, and this is the envelope I used. And then over in the effects section I just have some multiband compression on there, and the filter is actually off, it's because I'm filtering it later. So what I did now is bounce these chords in place right here. And to get that cool reverse effect, I just went through and cut up this audio file. Then I just selected everything and reversed it. And that's how I ended up with these chords down here with that cool reverse effect. So that's playing throughout the whole track. Next we have these vocal chops down here. And it's almost impossible to remake vocal chops because you have no idea what original source file they use for the vocal chops. So I did my best to try to kind of emulate the sound he had in the vocal chops, but it sounds a little different. The important thing about these vocal chops though is that they're drowning in reverb. I have this Valhalla vintage verb on them with like three seconds of decay time that sounds super nice. And then at the end of every four bars I have this half note delay going on that I'm automating throughout the track. So it only goes on in that end section, like the last couple notes of the phrase. So the delay I have on here is an Echo Boy Junior, 
and has a super long feedback time and it's a half note delay. So it kind of just drags out for a really long time, makes everything sound really atmospheric. So after 16 bars, he introduces a bass and starts introducing the lead pluck too. So here's what the bass sounds like. Bass just provides some rhythm in the low end. It's a super simple sound, just a saw wave with this envelope and a couple effects on there, not really doing much. The lead sound is really simple too. I just have a saw wave here with a envelope shaped like this that's controlling the cutoff of the filter over in the effects section. Then I just have some reverb and some delay on there, just to give it some space in the mix. So all the sounds he uses are relatively simple, but I think what you should take away from it is how he builds everything up and creates this huge atmosphere around the track and makes it really epic sounding. And he does that by automating different gains and different filters throughout the whole buildup. For instance, this lead sound right here, when it comes in, its gain is down like 20 decibels right here. and it just slowly comes in throughout the buildup. And then right before the drop, it tails off again. And the filter's also opening up a little bit with this macro control. So the same thing is going on with the rest of the sounds in the track. Like I have this synth bus and bass bus up here with the gain reducing right before the drop just to give the drop a lot more impact. I also have the bass being filtered with this high pass filter right here. Then for the pad, I'm doing a couple more things. I'm automating some reverb mix. And I'm also automating a low pass filter on it so it opens up throughout the buildup and also a high pass filter, just so it kind of filters out right before the drop hits. And I'm also doing gain automation on this one too. So all those things combined just make the build up that much more epic and make the drop hit that much harder. I actually forgot to do one thing on the lead right here. I wanna automate the lead delay so it kind of increases throughout the build up. So I'm gonna go down here and go into this bus, I think is the delay. It's not labeled, I guess, but anyway, I'm just going to increase this throughout the buildup. So I think that actually sounds a lot better automating the delay like that. It gives off more of an atmospheric vibe to the lead. So whatever you can do to build up the energy right before the drop hits, try it out and see if it sounds good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Spotify below. And other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace.